How we're gonna start this? Yes. <laughs> I'm Chris, and I'm joined by two awesome human beings. Uh Gary, who's binary Gary on the internet, Allison, who's Allison Plus on the internet, and I am Jazz Sequence on the internet, and collectively we are binary jazz, and this is a show about things that mm. uh we know nothing about, mm -hmm. generally mm -hmm. speaking. I'm really excited about today's topic because I think you'll partially know. Partially. Oh. That's yeah. dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's the best kind of topic. All right. Well, Let, let's do it, do I guess. We, okay. Just go right, right. to the topic? Yeah. Get, down, get down to business. Um, the topic for today is a Gordie Howe hat trick. A Gordie Howe hat trick. So, oh, oh, well, oh, oh, oh. Is this, is this the one? Is this... Okay, so um, so in hockey, there is a particular uh, thing that is called a hat trick, uh, a yep. special particular type of hat trick. I think it might be this, but I might be wrong. But it's where you get a goal, an assist, and a fight. Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes! <laughs> Nailed That's it! it? One. <laughs> well, all right. Catch you all next huh? week. <laughs> Signing off for now. We remain binary jazz. <laughs> I, I feel like there's some conversation that a hat trick, of course, is like typically three goals in a hockey match. Or or, or soccer. Or soccer. Hat trick is three goals in soccer. It's funny because I looked up I looked up what a hat trick actually was because I started questioning myself and they were it's three positives. Which is usually oh. hmm. So it does it where what sport did it originate in? A hat trick? I don't know. That's a good question. Because I, I, my understanding was it wasn't hockey because people would like throw their hats on the ice as a show of, I guess apparently like in the 40s when everyone wore a hat everywhere and <laughs> apparently they cost a nickel maybe I don't know but people would throw their hats on the ice in appreciation for the three. I an whatever. exact an exact quote from me mere minutes ago before we recorded was, well, who are these people? That can they just afford hats? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like now is an appropriate time to segue onto the um, tradition in, I believe it was Detroit, where they would throw a uh, squid on the ice. Oh, I don't and like so, that. Yeah, well, so it was banned, which meant people had to find creative ways to bring squid in, which often meant people would be smuggling squid into the game, uh, tournament match, whatever, in their trousers. So... What's wrong with people? Also, wait, how do you even clean up squid on the ice? Like the Zamboni, uh, the Zamboni is uh, not made for that. <laughs> no, the Zamboni doesn't do it. Like they would, they would do it and the, the match tournament would be paused while someone came out with like a shovel and collected the squid. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like maybe I'm misremembering some of that, but I feel like I definitely saw hockey events when I was a kid where people were throwing squid on the ice. And I'm pretty sure it was the Red Wings. All our hockey listeners, please uh, feel free to. Correct. See, I, 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 I don't even know that I know that particular um, phrase from hockey. I think squid? I know that. No, not squid. It's kind of, uh, oh, okay. It's like it's related to an octopus, I think. Now I can't remember the name now. So that, that's hat the thing. Trick. I always it's the something something hat you trick. You mean somebody, Gordy Howe hat Gordy trick Howe. or hat yeah. trick? Gordy Howe. Yeah. Um, Gordy Howe is a well-known uh, hockey athlete. Okay. He's Mr. Mr. Hockey. Oh. I didn't even oh, know that. Okay. I don't – that's not a name that <laughs> – I found Obviously. out it was trademarked. I was like, all right, just feel free to claim it. That's all right. <laughs> um, Mr. Hockey I think, is trademarked, huh? I think that I, think that I had heard about um, Gordy Howe hat trick from soccer uh, in reference to players like like – uh, getting a goal, an assist, and a red card. Oh, the Gordy Howe hat trick. I feel I like the soccer you're... version should be like a Gordy who hat trick. <laughs> <Gordy. laughs> 
That's so funny. Cause like, I was, yeah, I was like, I don't think they'll know this. I don't think either of them are hockey people. Cause no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, cause uh, we were I'm... talking about how no, like I didn't know who Gordie Howe was before I moved to Canada, but if I was into hockey, I would, but just a civilian off the street wouldn't, I don't think. I don't know. When I, I, million... watched, I watched hockey when the San Jose Sharks became a thing. Oh, okay. Um, because it was a local hockey team in the Bay Area, and it was new, and it was exciting. And so I, I paid a mild amount of attention to hockey, and I kind of know the rules. I think that probably made it easier to understand the rules of soccer, because um, they're pretty similar. But I had a uh, – my dad had a friend that had tickets to the Tampa Bay Lightning, the other Bay Area. The lesser Bay Area? <laughs> uh, yes, the other Bay Area. <laughs> yeah, tiny Bay? I don't know. They call it the Bay Area in Tampa, but it's it's not the Bay Area everybody else knows in the world. It's, um, it's probably they probably call it the Bay Area though, as opposed to the Bay Area. <laughs> oh no! What? Am I right? The Bay <laughs> Area, I, like because it's the Tampa Bay Area as opposed to the Bay Area. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can abide with that. <laughs> like it's the area around the Bay as opposed to the Bay Area being its like its own entity and in, in, in thing with a capital letter in its of its own like entity. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really understand this conversation. It's getting a little too. <laughs> this is way too in the weeds. <laughs> I'm, I'm not firing on all cylinders. I'm, I, this is not, this is just not making sense to me, Chris. So I'm just going to have to, I'm going to tap out of this one. So, so you were saying about, about the hockey game in the Bay area. The Tampa Bay uh, area. I was gonna say, oh, I was into hockey because there was a cute girl in some class I was in middle school that liked hockey, so I learned a little bit about hockey. That's fair. I don't remember her name anymore. I mean, or any less. I just don't remember her name at all. <laughs> just any longer faded into the memory of time. <laughs> I actually don't even remember. Like I actually like talking about hockey. I was trying to think back. Like, why did I watch hockey? It doesn't make a lot of sense for a dude in the gulf coast of florida <laughs> like hockey you know and i was trying to remember why i wonder I who, who, who in soccer has gotten in enough fights and done all those things um not that i would even know anymore i, feel like I don't not. know i i i think that i think it was like a it was something that a commentator was talking about like as in like oh he almost got a gordie howe uh, hat yeah. trick or something like not that it actually had happened um, but if I would have, if I would have, if I could take a guess, but anyone yeah. in soccer, at least in MLS soccer, who could have gotten a Gordie Howe hat trick, I would say Alan Gordon is definitely possible of getting a Gordie Howe hat trick. Like I, I have a hundred percent faith and confidence that somewhere in his career, he would have gotten a goal let's, and assist and a red card in the same match. Let's, let's talk about cards really quick. Sure. So <laughs> there is a yellow card and a red card. Yeah. Oh, damn. I thought something... you were going to mean I thought you meant tarot cards. <laughs> it's like playing oh. cards. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was really excited. I was like, Gary wants to talk about tarot? <laughs> <laughs> if you do something like especially egregious, you can skip the yellow and go right to the red. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's entirely the referee's decision? There are guidelines. Okay. So, so it's basically like, um, so if you, if you, if you attack the referee in really any form, even just putting your hand on the referee in a somewhat aggressive manner, you can get red carded for that. Anything having to do with the referee. Um, if you that seems reasonable. aggressively like attack or tackle the goalkeeper um, of the opposing team, you could potentially get red carded for that. I've seen that. If you um, aggressively tackle your own goalkeeper, though, it's, <laughs> it's uh, totally fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's sort of like in football, it's sort of like roughing the kicker sort of thing. Like that sort of thing would be a uh, um, that sort of thing would be a red card. And then sure. it's like, and then it's like uh, endangering the um, endangering another player, like will willful endangerment or lack of regard to another player's well being, is like the distinction that they make for um, for red cards. Um, there's also, um, you could get a straight red for being like, out of uniform, explicitly insulting to a referee. Like a referee makes a call and you like go uh, tell them to fuck off, like in their face on camera, like, like whatever. And and the funny thing is, um, 
a lot of times you'll see players do this where they're talking behind their hand or they're talking <laughs> behind their hand at the referee. And um, the thing is that a referee won't call uh, that, won't, won't give a card to somebody who's doing this and like sm talking smack at them behind their hand. But if they talk smack at them like with their lips visible so that you can read lips from the audience or on television, then you're more likely to get a card because, uh, I don't know, rules. rules. No, it's all about intent. Like if someone walks up and just punches someone, they're just going to get a red card. It's not like they're going after the ball. Like, yeah. <laughs> But you could also um, get a red card. You could also get a red card for doing a slide tackle, and your legs yeah. were too high and like clipped the guy's uh, shins as opposed to actually going yeah. after the ball. I've um, seen that. That's brutal. Yeah, and that's not necessarily like you were maybe trying. I mean, maybe you weren't trying to go for the ball. Maybe you were trying to go for his legs um, and trying to make it look like you're going for the ball. But like maybe you were trying to go for the ball and just slid really badly, and that's how it came out. And you could still get red carded for that. Can I can I abruptly shift gears again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh, so Gordy, that's like, that's a really Canadian name, right? Is Do you know, whoa, that's I mean, there are a lot that of thing them. was as big as my arm. Wow. Are there, um, I mean, what other Gordies do you know that aren't like, can you think of that? I mean, not Canadian, but just Gordies in general. I feel like it's a, I mean, I know there's Gord Downey. Um, there's another Gord from Tragically Hip. Um, I guess there's Gordy Howe. <laughs> I knew somebody Canadian. in college named Gordo. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's I guess that's proof of the pudding. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a, I like I love it. I love the name. I also love the uh I mean, you just named like four versions of Gordon. There's right Gordon there. Lightfoot. <laughs> yeah. Dang. So I mean like Gordon Gordy Gordo Gord. I mean that's that's a pretty <laughs> pretty versatile name right there. Yeah. I feel like with Gary, I, I get Gary I and Gary. It must stem from something, though. Now I'm going to go look. Great. Another rabbit hole for me. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> the name Gordon you're going to research? Just like, well, why are there so many? Like, because there must have been something like an influx around a certain birth period mm. being named after somebody. Mm. Gordy Howe. Yeah. Maybe, actually. <laughs> I mean, hockey's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Although... Um, I don't know why. I mean, there's a lot of people uh, of my around my age that were named Christopher or Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like there was like two or three years or four um, where there's just a lot of Chris's. Um, I it was rare that I was in a class that did not have at least one other Chris. Um, but I don't yeah. know if there's a particular reason for it. Like I don't know that they, I mean maybe Christopher Reeve, but like. So there's a fantastic podcast on the internet. Uh, is that where podcasts called? live? Called Binary Jazz. For, <laughs> yes. Uh, Freakonomics. Freakonomics. I mean, you're not even thinking of the podcast. I might be thinking about like the very first book, the Freakonomics book, um, where they discussed like how names become popular. Um, and generally, like the names move from like upper class on down. So there was a well to do Christopher that. You get into the fire and a bunch of middle class folks were like, oh, I like the way Christopher rolls off the tongue and also I want my kid to be rich. And Did you um, like, did you like when you were in class and you didn't have to be like with your last initial? Yes. So it was like, instead of, cause like I had to be Allison T a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was Chris R all the time. Uh, and it's obnoxious. Yeah. Um, and, and like, honestly, like when I joined human made, and I was the only Chris, and still am the only Chris in the company. Uh, I was kind of amazed that I was the only that I could just be at Chris on Slack, and that would be me. Like that's, that's, that's so it. exciting. It's just, it's just one, just the one Chris. We've got like five Johns, but there's only one Chris. And we've, that's amazing. And we've got like several Toms, but yeah. We actually have uh, there's a we have a client uh, who there's a client contact whose name is Tom Wilmot. Which is obviously the name. Oh yeah, of our CEO, <laughs> and it's That's not our odd. CEO. He's not our client. It's a different Tom Wilmot. It's a good way to keep an eye on your company to just like purchase services from them. <laughs> You're right? like, yeah, yeah, I'm a new guy. <laughs> totally not like it's just it looks just like him. But he's got like a really bad like stick on mustache. <laughs> <laughs> His Slack avatar is just the same. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like an image a bit like reversed, clearly yeah. like reversed underneath me. <laughs> um, I, uh, I had a question and I, uh, it was about, um, oh, I, it wasn't a question. It was a stupid thing I do. So I do the <laughs> stupid thing where like people that, that are like well-known, like Tom Brady is a good example. So Tom is, I, I would assume obviously short for Thomas, but I like to pretend that I don't know what it's short for. So I'd be like, Thompson, <laughs> Tomming, Tommel, and, and then throughout the last name. Because my kids are like, uh, I mean like audible eye rolls. It's really to harass my kids. Um, but now it's to the point where Rhonda's just like, just quit that, please. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun, and he, I think it's hysterical. So That's what's it. Gary short for then in this world of, world of mystery? I, I don't know. We should figure that out. Geraldo, uh, maybe? Uh, <laughs> Geraldo. Uh, I was going to say Garofalo. Oh. Yeah, Garofalo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a fine one. Hmm. Yeah. Or I, I guess I guess Garofalo is how you would pronounce that. Like Janine um, Garofalo. I always like to do Joe is like for Johannes or something or, you know, like really something like close but silly like it's joseph everyone knows it's joseph or josephina i guess jo I mean, jo jo yeah but that's like gertifer yeah or like gershin joe or even just like jovial like jovial yeah yeah it's a, it's totally not even like a name but why not i mean it could be a name there's nothing that says it can't be a name probably a jovial out there in the world I don't know. I live, my dad has a, a habit of shortening people's names without permission. Um, ah, and that so sounds I, lovely. I kind of have a fear of falling into that without realizing that I'm doing it to people. So like for my whole, like I would say until I was 30, um, this neighbor down the street I knew was Patty. Called her Patty my whole life. <laughs> whole life. Just talking to her on the street. Hey, Patty. Great. I found out her name is Trisha. Not Patricia. <laughs> Trish. Wow. And I was like, she must hate our family. Because me <laughs> and my brother are just like walking around. My dad's like, hey, Patty. Like, I'm just like, I learned her name is Patty. So I was like, oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. So do you appreciate or not appreciate your name being shortened to Al? Um, I'm fine with Al. I'm not okay with Allie. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I would never think to call you Allie. No, I don't feel like one. I feel like it fits some people and I don't feel like I'm, I had friends named that we shortened to Allie when I was little and I was like, oh no, that's, I'm a either Allison or Al. And again, my parents don't, don't like shortening it because there was a whole to do about my name potentially being shortened to a boy's name. So that was why I wasn't named like Jessica to Jess or Samantha to Sam. Like all these options got pushed off the table because they and thought so, people were just... And so they named you Allison instead, yeah. reali not realizing that Allison could be shortened to Al, which well, is they just figured was people... literally the first two letters cover it. Yeah. <laughs> they really just figured people would shorten it to Allie and they'd call it a day, not really realizing that I'd be like a weird ruffian child that refused to answer to that. <laughs> so. I really try to call people, like we, we have a, a dude where I worked where I worked? No, where I continue to work. Um, <laughs> named Jonathan, but his initials are JB. And so at some point, someone started calling him JB. And that was like the standard. And then at some point, he was like, I don't really like that nickname. I'm <laughs> like, oh, okay. But it's like, it's just part of the vernacular. So I think a lot of people still call him JB. But I, I, at that point, I was like, well, first off, I better learn like how to spell his name. Like, is it an A or an O? I know the first one. But so the other ones are N and N. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like there's a few things in there, right? Um, so that was fun. Um, so anyway, Jonathan. And uh, well, like, do people I mean, ever? They're... People never shorten your name, do they? They're not like, hey, Gare. Uh, some people call me Gare, and I, I really, it doesn't make a bit of difference to me. I used to go by Tyler, so which is my middle name for a lot, like for a decade. I went by Tyler. <laughs> I wish there was no explanation for that. That <laughs> <laughs> really would be even better, wouldn't it? Uh, the Just explanation Tyler. is even dumber than not having an explanation. The explanation is when I started working at the company, there was already a dude there named Gary. <laughs> and the owner of the company was like, sorry, we over to Gary. So you have to like pick a different name what? so we know who's being paged. We, we can't have two. It's just yeah. not realistic. So I started by going, I wanted to do G Tyler to, you know, keep my initial in there. I thought G Tyler had like kind of a 
role to it, but no one else really had any interest in saying the G. So it just became Tyler. It's just fine. I don't care. I have yet to run into another Allison at any tech job that I've had, <laughs> but I don't find that surprising. <laughs> Tyler, I think, is a funny one because it's like, it's an old name, like an old man's name, but then also like a kid's name now, you know? Hmm. There's a lot of ty- uh, younger Tylers running around. So is it like the name trends like skip and then they kind of roll back around again? Yeah. Well, we're totally uncreative in my family. Everybody is named after a relative. That's that's not uncreative. That's just like keeping the chain going. Yeah, I say yeah, it's uncreative. See. We actually spent a long time uh, on Charlotte's name. Like we didn't know. So also because don't you have to like I don't know don't you have to like meet the kid and kind of get a feel for what name? No, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we, I, maybe it would have been, in hindsight, maybe that would have been better, but no, we, we never did. I'm very it's, bad at naming things. Like, I can't name my printer or my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, um, so I'm not named after anyone um, at all, as far as I know. Christopher Scott is not anyone. Those, those names are not used in the family at all. Um, but Aaron has family names that have been passed on. Aaron itself is not a family name, but her middle name is and other people in her family have names that have been passed on so we decided to do that so Mm -hmm. both of our kids middle names are after people in our family so uh, my son gavin's middle name is edwin which is um aaron's grandfather who um actually um the week we found out she was pregnant i believe was the week that he passed Mm -hmm. um so it was, it was like, when we found, we found out afterwards and you're we like, oh, it's too bad that we couldn't tell him that. And then, and then that was part of the reason, part of the influence in choosing that as, as his middle name. And then uh, my daughter, Lila's middle name is Amelia, which is my great, great grandmother. My great grandmother's name is Amelia. And Amelia was um, an Italian immigrant. Um, That's awesome. Came over from the boats uh with uh my great grandfather um roberto i feel like those are good initials too um l a r l a r and g r in my head <laughs> we think about naming kids like so we long before tyler was on the way i mean years before we even thought about having kids we always joked about um Oh, am I still here? Yes, I am. My screen told me it's on low power mode and this, yeah. the video turned off. I thought maybe it was like, well, you're done. Um, <laughs> all right, whatever. Uh, so we, we like joke driving home from my in-laws in North Carolina back to Florida, like that one day we were going to do this with a Tyler in the back seat. Like we already knew his name before, like a decade before he existed. Uh, maybe not quite a decade, seven years. Yeah, I know. We spent probably most of that nine months uh, trying to figure out the names. <laughs> Hey, were you, were you, this is a stupid, another stupid thing about names. <laughs> this is the name episode. Were you all? It's fitting. You, I guess the topic is Gordy Howe, so. <laughs> yeah. So were you all at web dev when I convinced, I, what was it? Was it people with K names or J names? There was like a weird ratio where like half the company had names that started with some consonant. And I so no I like, noticed weird ratios, Gary. <laughs> um. It was, I think it was, I was like in a call and I, it was, yeah. So I was in a call and I'm like, I'm the only person here whose name doesn't start with a K. No, no. So I it must, my name in slang. It must've been J. Cause it's, it was J. Yeah. Yep. It was J. So I changed my name to Jerry. J-A-R-Y. <laughs> and so then I started like DMing people and being like, Hey, can you do me a favor and just change the first letter in your name in Slack? And I didn't really like call this out until like dozens and I, well, I guess dozens would have been like everybody else at that point. I, until like a bunch of other people had changed their names as well. And then it became a thing. Like we created a channel. You can only come into if you had a J name. It was stupid, but that was the kind of stuff I did there. A lot of stupid stuff. It's a totally useful, useful way of your time. I I talk about <laughs> talk about working there, and I wonder why I lasted as long as I did. <laughs> to meet me, obviously, <laughs> or meet I, me, <laughs> whatever. Air quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know that you really exist. It's weird. We, but we've um, completed the trifecta because we can all vouch that at least one of us exists. Oh, yeah. shoot, you're right. Yeah, that's a, that's a very valid point. So yeah, you've now you've now met me, 
So in you, person. you know that I exist and I've met Allison. So I know, you know that Allison. Allison is, uh, so yeah. that means that I'm the one that connects the three of us because I've met both of you. Yeah. Yeah. I've always said that <laughs> in polite conversation. <laughs> always, always. Chris I mean, and I've met you so twice. So that means that yeah. I have existed continuously on a timeline. It's true. There's a time, there's a beginning and <laughs> Oh, no. That sucks. Well, I'm not a just a brief. There's a beginning and a middle. When my, yeah. <laughs> when my computer's on. <laughs> Chris and I met for a brief moment in time on one day, and that was the end of it. <laughs> it wasn't just a brief moment of time on one day. I mean, we met on one day and for a brief period of time, but it wasn't just one period of time. Don't belittle I, I the mean, moment. <laughs> I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of space podcasts. I know that might come as a shock to some people. Um, and like in the, you know, like idea of the cosmos, it was a brief moment in time. But we're all just stardust, so let's all just- All right, kill that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what are we even doing? <laughs> I, uh, I really like this one. Uh, it's called uh, Space Above, I think. The Space Above, maybe? And this dude started back in 2016. And like every other week, he goes through a mission, um, like starting with uh, uh, Gemini onward. So a U.S. space mission and talks about the mission for about 20 minutes. So I made it all the way up to Apollo 10. So Apollo 11, the moon landing, is my next mission. I'm pretty excited about that one. Hmm. I have to find a good spot to listen to that podcast and really take it all in. I was gonna, but, I was gonna ask, how do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to them like, at, like when doing what do you listen to podcasts? Um, so it depends. Because I have a hard Sometimes time can... listening to voices when I'm working. Yeah, which totally. Means that I end up not listening to podcasts. So I find that um, I can listen to a podcast if I'm doing like, you know, the rote stuff that has to be done sometimes, right? Um, I also find that I like listening to those podcasts while I'm like planning my day. I've started planning my day in a, in a different way than I used to. Well, because I didn't used to plan my day. I just showed up <laughs> with all the tickets and we're like, this one looks like the most important and like flailed. Um, so what I've started doing is I start like blocking like here's an hour for this ticket. Here's an hour for this ticket. Here's an hour for this ticket on my calendar uh, as a way to like, and, and if, it go, if I go longer, then I just adjust the time for the rest of the day, you know? So like if I go for an hour and 15, well, the next one I might put at 45 or I might leave it in an hour and maybe it doesn't take, you know, I just sort of see how it goes. Really, really like as a guide and not, and like sort of gives myself permission to, to break my schedule, which is cool to be in the habit of, of changing it. it means that I'm not so frustrated when it changes. So that's cool. Nice side effect. Um, but anyway, setting that up takes some time and about long enough to, I don't know if it takes a full 20 minutes, but between like getting the coffee and getting the computer turned on and all that stuff, like I can get one space mission in to get my day set up. Is the person's background like science or is this just a hobby? It's totally a hobby nerd. And in the yeah. beginning, he's like a software developer. And then, oh, somewhere around somewhere around the beginning of the Apollo program, he landed a job with NASA. So it's like, yeah, it's neat. That's pretty cool. It's ex it's ex I mean, it's exciting from that perspective. And it's a very dry, technical, nerdy presentation. I mean, he's, this is what he's doing for fun. It's not like he's spending a lot on production. Mm -hmm. You know how those podcasts are. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 say that like, I have a yeah, real microphone now. <laughs> It's it's totally engaging as a result. Like, I, I I fall in and and you know as I'm putting tickets out there and figuring out what's what's important. You know, it's really like more of a gut decision. It's not like I have to think through and therefore I can spend the time and listen to the podcast and maybe learn something. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, we've got our warning. We know what a Gordy Howe hat trick is. Uh, oh, what the warning already? Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. I was, I was going to say something about the Gordie Howe hat trick uh, to sort of tie it back, but um, yeah, I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Names, something, fights. Uh, so, so I think I have a Gordie Howe uh, mosquito bites out here. I'm I'm pretty impressed though that we nailed that one in like under five minutes. Like that's the quickest. <laughs> that's the quickest. Uh, uh, and a hockey gotten. reference, no I know. less. I, I, know. I appreciate being included in the Wii, but I knew the hat trick portion, and I knew Gordy Howe was a, uh, a hockey a, dude, and I had no idea that it had anything to do with like a fight. I'm full of useless trivia. 
Yeah, I like it. And that's why we're here. And that's why we're here. Uh, Thank you, Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's do some Allison questions. We also have some Gary questions that we'll get to at some point. Uh, we still have some oh, Allison dang. questions from 2019. So uh, we need wow, to that was fun. last decade. Stupid um, jokes. Allison would like us to answer uh, if someone created an advent calendar specifically for you, what would be <laughs> behind the little doors? Space missions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess they don't even have, have to be little doors. Yeah. <laughs> I I would say I would say strange musical objects. Astronauts. <laughs> yeah. Mine would probably be art supplies. Ooh. Like different types of art supplies. Oh, so like a physical thing. I was thinking more like it, like a, a thing to learn. Oh, like if this is your mission, should you choose to accept it? <laughs> no, just like, hey, here here's the astronaut, you know, named uh Gene Kranz or something. Yeah, I think your advent calendar is a lot cooler than mine. What is that? It's a little music jap. It's a. It's came from Japan. Uh, it's got a little mouth that opens, and <laughs> he sings. Was... <laughs> I love that. Does it have googly eyes on it? It looks like it does. It just got his little dots. Oh, okay. They're not googly. Oh, I'm surprised you have not busted that out sooner. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that, I mean, next month is RPM, and I'm thinking that he might make an appearance. Definitely. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> that's amazing. It really yeah. is. It's and here a, I am just crunching leaves for crying out loud. <laughs> it's a automaton. Automaton, all right. Automaton. Well, I didn't huh. bring that to the table for a topic. <laughs> yeah, that would have been embarrassing when Chris was like, not only do I know what it is, but bam, I can I have play it. one. <laughs> so, yeah, strange, strange musical instruments or objects, things that can make music mm -hmm. be my, my advent calendar. Um, next question. We're going to file that one in the archive. Next question. Did you ever wish you were a different astrological sign? If so, which one and why? No. This will probably like trigger some weird astrological rant, but <laughs> No. I I've always I've I've always uh been perfectly fine with being a Scorpio and identified with being a Scorpio and I don't know that any other astrological astrological sign like even remotely uh describes me or appeals to me. Hmm. I will say that as a cancer, I feel like I don't want to be a cancer, like, but not like the astrological sign. I just feel like cancer, the duality of the definition, it feels kind of yucky. You want some rebranding. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. fine with it, but let's call it something else. Okay, that's you, you would feel better about cancer just being the giant crab. I mean, yeah, call me a giant crab. I'm cool with that. <laughs> just crabby the crab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a, he's a crab. He's a crab person. That makes sense. That's fine. I, yeah, I can abide with that. Hmm. All right. So Gary has a bunch of questions. Uh, oh. I think the only reason he, I put this in is because he, I was chided for never submitting some quest, submitting well, questions. Well, you and so. you did it wrong. Each question is supposed to be a different submission, so that we can just like archive them as we go. So oh. going to have to stick around for a while, apparently, because <laughs> Gary did it wrong. <laughs> that's that's not surprising. Uh, so I'm going to try to remember which ones you've done and which ones we haven't uh, on future episodes. But the first one on the and list is. When is it okay? At first, I thought at first when I was reading these uh, really quickly, I thought that they all were tied back to the same question. They're just like further uh, questions. That, <laughs> no, no, they're all totally different. Um, so the first one is when is it okay to gloat? Oh, that's a good one. I want to say <laughs> never. I mean, I also want to say never, but deep <laughs> in my soul, I know that. I feel that there are times that I am allowed to gloat. <laughs> well, I mean, you're always allowed, but like, is it a jerk move? Could be. <laughs> but is a jerk move always not okay? Sometimes a jerk move is okay. Like sometimes people need to be fed the jerk. I, I think it has to do with the power dynamic. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. So I think if yes. you're gloating over some, someone where there's not equal footing or if, they're below you somehow in a power stance. Does that make sense? Then yes. I think it's kind of like a mean thing to do. 
Uh, but if it's going upward, that's a, maybe not. Yeah, maybe well, it's, it's, like it's, it's, how not okay. f- it's how I feel about comedy as well, but. Mm. Oh, that's an, that's such a, well, thank you. I, that actually answers my question. <laughs> that's <laughs> so, not what this podcast I'm I, is for. <laughs> I'm glad I submitted that. I feel <laughs> at peace. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not what this podcast is for. We're not, we're not about making peace. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here for clarification. Way, way to break the the program, Kevin, Gary. <laughs> yep. Well. Jerry. Jerry. It's not. It's not Gary. It's his evil twin, Jerry. <laughs> With the mustache. Uh, okay. If you could modify a person's mirror to change one oh. thing that is reflected back to them, what would you change to make them feel more confident? Like a specific person or people in general? Uh, you know, however you inter- however you want to go with it. Like a physical thing? It's a mirror, so... <laughs> well, but you can't see your personality? <laughs> I mean... I, mean I, hmm. I don't know. I'm just kind of kicking it out there. Uh, I would change whatever is necessary <laughs> <laughs> to make it so that the person looking in the mirror can see themselves um i guess the way other people see them like not in like the self-critical i'm so ugly i'm so fat i'm so old i'm so hairy whatever the i'm so whatever that you tell yourself is like but everybody else says, no, you're not. And like, I mean, assuming other people actually think that you're not, I would like, you know, to look in the mirror and yeah. actually see yourself the way that others at least say that they see you. That's fantastic. Sort of, I, sort of, I guess, like the mirror of Erised, but different. Yeah. <laughs> but different. <laughs> hey, I like asking questions. I should do it more often. Um, you should. Really? They're yeah. good questions. <laughs> and I'm running out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'd choose. I was going to say, like, people's ability to, like, when people turn bright red and mm. they're embarrassed. I was going to say I'd tone that down on their behalf, but <laughs> mm. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. We, we don't have enough time for another question. This is disastrous. <laughs> I mean, we could start one anyway and just get cut off in the middle. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Cliffhanger. <laughs> Uh, so the next one is, what is one people, what is one, what is one thing people assume about you that surprises you? One thing that people assume about you that surprises you. I don't like this question as as much as the last two. Is this me or is this Gary? (laughs) This is, this is us. Me, the I. Oh, okay. Not gary although gary could answer too i have no idea Uh, (laughs) excuse me (laughs) that's a cop-out answer and you know it (laughs) you're right i think people assume that i know what i'm doing sometimes (laughs) most of the time uh Um, people assume that i would like to be a manager oh I mean, not calm. like it, because I, I show leadership. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz. Thank you.